Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, I'm Sarah Guthels. I lead DevRel at Sentry. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how mixing Sentry and Netlify can give you the best rubber duck ever, the most effective, the most useful, the best one ever. But before we jump into that Netlify Sentry integration, I do want to give you a short overview of what Sentry does, just in case you're not familiar, just in case you haven't visited our booth yet. This is it. This is what we do, code application monitoring. But what does that actually mean? Well, we know that application monitoring uh, is very critical to basically avoid losing money because of performance outages um, or performance issues and outages. It's critical. You probably already are monitoring your applications today. But as engineers, we are more intimately familiar and maybe care more about the 17 hours a week that we might spend trying to find and fix bugs. It's a nightmare. Um, searching through logs, pinging engineers in different orgs, uh, jumping into tickets, trying to go through files in your repo, um, it can be unwieldy. The lack of visibility into your product's code, the bugs, the slowdowns, and the crashes is horrendous. So the solution that Sentry tries to provide is code-level application monitoring. So as we know, code is constantly evolving. It's getting more complex. Uh, the ability to monitor code holistically across front-end, back-end, APIs, microservices has become completely a mess. Sentry provides that code-level visibility that organizations need to be able to help developers solve and learn from these issues. So with Sentry, you can drill down into the code to see directly from the error the issues that matter. Using Sentry can literally be the difference between spending a week to resolve an issue to solving it in just a, in just a number of hours. You instantly see relevant context so that you know where the problem is, who the problem might be affecting, and what your customers were doing in your app before this problem arose. And by consolidating your code observability, you can remediate challenges across teams and uncover patterns across your entire organization so that you can learn from historical trends to optimize code health over time. And we integrate with all of the leading tools that you as developers are likely using, from Slack, PagerDuty, Jira, and of course, Netlify. You can get alerted, um, tickets are created, and updates are reflected and synced across the entire team automatically. And because we know a lot of you are likely working for organizations where you have your entire unique tool set, we also have an open API for you to build integrations for whatever it is that you need. Okay, so let's jump into why I'm saying Sentry is a rubber duck. Um, for this, I'm gonna give you a quick example. This is this really, really awesome web app that you built with Next.js. Uh, it's a blog and shop. Everyone's familiar with blog and shops, right? Yeah, it's where customers come and they, they read your blog and then they shop for stuff, right? Totally, totally real scenario here. And of course, of course, your blog and shop was deployed on Netlify. So you might have done so far a pretty typical Netlify setup. Your code is hosted on GitHub, and Netlify deploys straight from your GitHub repository's main branch. Awesome. Now for the Sentry plugin. So you want to be able to catch errors being shipped to production, as well as manage the health of your releases and rapidly resolve latency errors for your site before they impact the customer. The Sentry build plugin on Netlify helps you quickly identify how code errors impact your users. And with this integration, Netlify will uh, automatically notify Sentry every time the site builds. If Sentry reveals anything suspicious, you can instantly revert back to a previous version of your site with Netlify while you resolve that issue. So if you go to netlify.com slash integrations slash Sentry, you can quickly get started by just clicking on the Add Plugin button. 
From there, you'll be taken to a very quick, simple setup flow where you attach the plugin to whichever um, applications that you want monitored and set up your environment variables, and that's basically it. So things are going great, right? Your blog and shop, it's booming. And you're getting ready for the holiday season when people are gonna be reading blogs and shopping, right? As we all know. So you make some changes to your code and you push them to your main branch. The changes are captured in a GitHub commit. This one is starting with uh, B026363C5, not that I've memorized it. And as I already mentioned, you've set up your Netlify, or you've set up Netlify so that it'll deploy directly from the main branch every time a new push is pushed, every time a new commit is pushed to that branch. So um, that new deploy gets automatically uh, kicked off with Netlify, and that commit, B026363C5, uh, is also associated with your Netlify deploy. Pretty typical. But because you have that Sentry integration also set up to monitor this application, this awesome blog and shop, um, it's as if I'm selling you blog and shops, the integration will not only notify Sentry of new releases being deployed by Netlify, but also upload source maps and send Sentry the commits to enable features on Sentry, such as suspect commits, which kind of is what it sounds like, commits that might be suspect to causing an error. So we can see that that same GitHub commit B026363C5 that is associated with your uh, GitHub commit and with your Netlify deploy is also associated with your Sentry release. From here, you'll be immediately notified when a bug or performance issue happens on your app, and with the help of those source maps that the integration um, sent over to Sentry, you'll be given the context for those errors or performance issues that are relevant to you as a developer. So let's look at this a little bit. All right, here comes the moment to see if my practice paid off as my pre-recorded video needs to match what I say. All right, so the Sentry release page has relevant information for your release. Potentially, a list of errors. Clicking into an error gives you information about customers that may have been affected, what kinds of environments that bug was found in, and a likely part of the code, ah, my timing is working, that is causing the error. It also will provide you with a stack trace where you can jump into specific transactions that might have led to that bug being surfaced. So there's a lot more to this as well. There's a lot more to Sentry and to the integration. Um, with Sentry, with code owner setup, you can even notify the right developers via our Slack or Teams integrations so that you don't have to spend the time trying to figure out who was the last person to commit on that code and whether they were actually the ones responsible for keeping it healthy. So don't worry if that short recorded demo went too quickly. We do have a live demo available at our booth um, so you can explore more and ask questions from me and my colleague. So to quickly recap, Netlify might be your go-to deploy tool. But with the Sentry integration, you don't need to talk to that rubber duck for hours. As you search through logs and jump around to different files and ping random teammates and other parts of your organization. Sentry is that quick acting rubber duck that actually gives you the context and the direct connection to your code so that you can fix your issues in a matter of hours. Well, at least your coding issues. Because now your rubber duck can go back to your bubble bath where you contemplate all of the other issues in your life. Sorry, Sentry cannot fix that. So that was the Sentry Netlify integration. You can find me, Dr. Guthels, on pretty much all social media. Um, please come to the booth for a live demo and if you haven't already, share on Twitter a picture of your rubber duck. This is one of my many dogs, Ruby, who was my rubber duck while uh, writing these slides and trying to make my demo work. If you tag GetCentury and hashtag JamstackConf on your uh, tweet, you could win a Nintendo Switch, which we will announce tomorrow at the block party. And if you want to learn more about how Sentry helps developers first, uh, be sure to check out our blog at blog.sentry.io. Thank you so much.